This is your global weather woman, meteorologist Amy Metz. With an update on Niran, we have churning off the coast of Queensland. The other day I said this was going very slow, about 11 kilometers per hour, and it is still slow. The rain is accumulating now, not only over Papua New Guinea where it was and is leaving, but also the Solomon Islands now, Vanuatu, and finally starting to trickle into New Caledonia, which is going to be the big watch list for this weekend. Now, when I'm moving ahead here, just keep in mind that any kind of day is going to be one day ahead as I am in Hawaii and here we're looking one day in the future. The bulk of the churning and the cyclonic activity is now over open water. It's pulling away from Queensland, which will allow this storm to get stronger and stronger. Now you see some whites coming into play there. That is more than 100 miles per hour. So that can be as high as 150 kilometers per hour as the storm gets closer and closer to New Caledonia. I do not believe there will be a landfall, although it will be so, so close regardless. Luckily, one thing with these storms is that close to the storm, right in the center, is much stronger. But let's first take a look at forecasting before I get into that, because those upper level to mid-level winds around 500 millibars is what really directs these storms to tell them where to go, that and warm water. So the open warm water will help steer this, but also we notice that to the east of the cyclone, there's a lot of southeasterly flow, and then it goes into the east flow over the green. There's a lot of blue down below. That means very low wind speeds, but where all that energy is, all the higher, um, you know, brighter colors and stronger winds, they're really going southeast at this point. So that's gonna be the major pull for energy that this storm is going to do mostly easterly movements and then finally get into some southeastern motion before we have a probable close cut to New Caledonia. Now I'd like to get really specific here with what is in store for New Caledonia because these are very major speeds here as far as what we call for cyclone activity. Major as in can take down houses but I'm really crossing my fingers this is just a scrape along the coast because look how different that changes so fast we're going from what could be knocking over a couple of power lines or blowing up a few roof shingles to inside the core of this storm what would just take down an entire house so hopefully everything stays on track with this forecast and luckily any kind of land topography and city buildings will help deteriorate the hurricane to some extent add in some wind shear which kind of disseminates the strength of the core so i do believe the strongest we'll be seeing are up to 100 mile per hour gusts in new caledonia not the sustained wind speeds that could be equivalent to about uh, 130 kilometers so i hope everybody's doing okay Go ahead, like and follow, subscribe. You can find me on Facebook at Weather Woman as well. Enjoy your day and be prepared. Don't get scared.